Connecting Central Texas. This is 25 News. I'm Dennis Turner here now look at your top Central Texas news stories. Baylor University has postponed its football season opener this weekend. It comes after Baylor did not meet Big 12 Conference COVID-19 game thresholds. The Bears informed the University of Houston test results put their offensive line below the threshold. Both Baylor and Houston have agreed to look for future rescheduling opportunities. Members of the House Armed Services Committee arriving at Fort Hood today to inspect the post in the wake of recent tragedies. Newly named Commander of Three Corps, Major General John Richardson IV, Deputy Commanding General on post, says he plans to provide the delegation with a full understanding of the challenges facing Fort Hood. The delegation includes Congresswoman Veronica Escobar of El Paso and Jackie Spear of California, both behind the hashtag I am Vanessa Guillen Bill. If you think you might want to ever use the popular, massively popular TikTok app or messaging app WeChat, you'll want to download it before Sunday. It comes after President Trump issued an executive order banning the apps last month because of the grounds that the Chinese-owned companies pose a threat to national security. While users have, while users also also have already downloaded the apps, they may be able to keep using them but the restrictions mean that they will not get updated versions of those apps. I feel very confident and very proud of who I am as a, a Hispanic American. Founded in 1987, the Baylor Hispanic Association serves thousands of students. It's also an organization that many students say makes them feel at home. It's a place where students get the chance to connect and learn about the Hispanic culture. 25 News reporter Eliza Navarro shows us how the group builds bonds that endure a lifetime. We're often seen as this kind of broad group, and that's just not the reality. The Hispanic community is often identified under one umbrella, but when you dig deeper, you realize that diversity is endless. People from Cuba, from Puerto Rico, have a very different origin story to the United States. My dad's side came to Texas, but my great-grandparents on my mom's side were here when it was made. At Baylor University, the Hispanic Student Association is an organization where students get the opportunity to learn about the rich diversity of the Hispanic community. It's also a place where many Hispanic students feel welcome. As a first-generation student, it's definitely in like new uncharted territory. So I had no idea what was going on. I didn't know where I was going or what was I going to do. And that's when I like found HSA and I was like, oh, like these are similar people to me. Vice President Leonardo Robles agrees and says he takes great pride in learning about his own culture. It makes me very proud to remember these people and to you know, have their stories be shared. The HSA doors are open to every interested student, not just those with a Hispanic background. They come and learn. They're like, wow, there really are different levels and different types and different people. They're really amazed at the diversity within the culture. The S. Espinosa is a proud alumni and hopes students will continue learning about culture and heritage. Eliza Navarro, 25 News, Waco. The Hispanic Student Association had several events planned to mark Hispanic Heritage Month, but due to COVID-19, they quickly adapted to virtual settings. The group invites all students and faculty to, to participate in conversations where they discuss current events of importance to the Hispanic community. And we have a nice weekend on tap now thanks to drier air that has come in behind a cool front. That dry air working in, clearing everything out, and it'll be around as we head into tonight and into the weekend, keeping things very calm. Means no issues for your Friday night football games. We just may have to watch this weekend, the later portions of the weekend, for maybe a few showers. We're keeping a close eye on the Gulf. This system, it could become Tropical Storm Beta overnight. If that happens, it could try to work its way towards Texas and potentially bring us a little bit of rainfall. Watch how it plays out here on Future Track. Things are quiet in Central Texas in the Brazos Valley for the weekend. By Sunday, though, we'll start to see some clouds try to work in from the system. There's going to be a slow moving system hanging around in the Gulf, which means it doesn't really know where exactly it's going. However, still going to see the moisture increase, and that means we could have rain chances start to sneak in by the time we head into the new week and on into the middle of the week. In fact, pretty good rain chances coming in now. 50% chances Monday and Tuesday, and then dwindling those on Friday. Again, very dependent on on where that storm goes, so you'll want to be staying tuned for updates. Tomorrow's highs, though, they're going to be beautiful. Mid-80s on the way. 85 Clifton, 85 Waco Temple, Salado, 84 in Rosebud, and 83 in Marlin. Off to the east, sitting in the lower 80s along the I-45 corridor, and a little bit warmer in the Brazos Valley. Mid to upper 80s on the way for tomorrow's highs 
as well. So let's go ahead and show you that 10 day forecast because you're going to notice that things are really nice for the weekend. 83 Saturday, the official high 82 Sunday. I think we'll be partly cloudy on Sunday. Again, clouds will be increasing later on in the evening. And then by the time we head into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll be watching those tropics very closely as it could send some pretty good rain chances our way. And with the moisture around only staying in the mid to upper 70s as we head towards the middle of the week. Good news is it looks like things will be drying out for the new weekend. Mid 80s on the way and then maybe even another cold front by the time we head into Sunday. That one could bring some rain chances, but for now we need to keep our eyes very peeled on the tropics and keep a close update. Of course, you can count on the First Alert 25 weather team to keep you updated on that.